Good everybody, it's your boy Showdown85 dropping y'all with another video. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to stream your PS4 gameplay um, to your PC slash laptop without having a capture card, man. Um, it's a pretty cool ass trick. Um, not really a trick, but it's a pretty cool, pretty cool setup, man. I want to show you guys. I want to share with y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? So the people out there that don't have a caption card, man, they can, you know, they can try this and see if it works out for them, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta fake it till you make it, bro. Anyways, the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up your internet, um, explore whatever you're using. Go to Google, type in PS4. Remote play I already got it searched up. Um, click on this first link. I'll put everything in the description for you guys. Um, go to this site right here and download it either for Windows and Mac, whatever y'all got. I'm a Windows dude. I don't know about everybody else. <coughs> I ain't rich enough for a Mac. Anyways, once you have it um, downloaded, go back. Google and search up OBS man y'all should be pretty familiar with OBS um, if not y'all need to be familiar with this if y'all plan on streaming full time on the PC or whatever <laughs> but download OBS studio click on that and whatever you guys need don't worry I'm probably going a little bit fast but I'm gonna put all everything in the description box, all the links that you guys need to go to, because I'm pretty sure um, I might end up confusing the fuck out of y'all. <coughs> but once you have those downloaded, PlayStation 4 Remote Play right here, and OBS is what these two programs should look like before you install them. So go ahead, right click run as admin install that um, it doesn't matter what order you install them just install both of them you know run as admin install both of them uh, once you have them installed what you want to do is click on open up go ahead and open up ps4 remote play all right so what you want to do is you want to have your playstation controller um, hooked up to your basically hooked up to whatever you're using desktop or laptop just go ahead have the USB cable and controller hooked up to the um, your system and before you click on before you pair them just click on settings and if you're running if you're using like an okay computer um basically just leave it leave it at 720 it's standard just just test it out you know because it's gonna be based on how good your internet is but go ahead and leave it as that you know if you're using a, a low end if you if your computer ain't top notch just leave it at 720 at standard um if you're feeling like your shit can handle it um go ahead and run it at 1080 um, standard or high uh, I run it um, damn what was I running I was running 1080 at high just to test it out and shit looks good um, it, it looks good at 720 um, standard or high I mean shit it it looks good anyways <coughs> anyways you want to go ahead and have your you have your controller and your USB cord hooked up to you play to your desktop laptop go ahead and hit the PlayStation home button and it'll automatically sync and find your system so it's pretty quick man they don't even play so make sure your stuff is hooked up on the same network and you're good to go so this is what pops up PS4 remote playing and it has basically I left my system open playing killing floor 2 so you know there you go just to prove that's the PlayStation screen home screen and boom, click on that back to the game all right so from here what I want to do <coughs> this is going this screen right here is going to look blank so there's not going to have anything it's not going to have video caption device or display capture like I have this up because I'm actually using this to record this program 
Let me record this video. I'm sorry. But what you want to do from here is you want to click on just pretend that this this is blank. You have a blank canvas. And you have no nothing down here. So go to your source, click on the plus tab. And what you want to do is you want to go to Windows Capture. <coughs> and you can name this PS4. So you click on OK. So my shit just worked blank. Hold on. Alright, so what I did so that I um you guys can still see me. Um, I just had to move this because it started off at the top I just had to move it down um, but like I said you're this is gonna be a blank canvas so you're not gonna be worried about trying to capture your um your desktop um, right now what you want to do is you just want to you just want to capture this gameplay so this is gonna be the first thing that pops up when you go to the plus and go to Windows capture so from here what you want to do is you want to go to click on this Windows tab, click down, and look for PS4 Remote Play. So go ahead and click OK, and boom, it should pop up in this window right here. So let's click OK. So from right, <laughs> what you want to do from here, I'm going to get rid of my display capture because it's probably throwing y'all off. So boom, right here, this is how it's gonna look. And what you wanna do, you just wanna drag it out. Camera back in front. <coughs> you just wanna drag it from the bottom right corner. I'm sorry, you just wanna, you just wanna grab it right here at this bottom right and drag it all the way down. And it'll automatically snap when you get close to this corner. It'll snap. <clears throat> so from right here, I can start finessing my shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I can do stuff to it that I can't do on PlayStation. So I can click on this plus sign, go to image, you know, click on OK, go to browse, go to videos. Damn, sorry, not videos. I'm sorry. I'm, it's late, guys. Forgive me. Um, go to my pictures and what I want to do is say I want to add an overlay with my name and all that cool stuff on there so you can get free templates at um just google them you can get them and you have to turn around you have to edit them um, um I use paint.net um, you can use if you, if you ball it you can use uh, what's that photoshop all that stuff but boom, there I go. I just added an overlay to my game. See? So from here, I'll just hit the plus sign again. Go to image. Click on OK. Say I just want to add a logo or a picture. <coughs> so I'm going to say I'm, I'm going to add this turkey that, I, turkey that I was using for Thanksgiving. Oops. I'm going to click on that. And so I just want to add this turkey to the corner of my gameplay. So boom, there I go. So there you go, guys. Um, you know the purpose of this video is to show you guys how to how to get your PlayStation gameplay to your Peter computer. Oh, I'm sorry, it's late. To get your gameplay from your PC to your laptop without having to have a caption card and then you know this gives you more range more freedom to customize your page um i mean customize your stream to make it look you know to make your shit stand out and that that's the whole thing man you want to stand out and be different um or at least stand out to get on a professional level of streaming um this is the way to do it without spending that bread on the um on the caption card man you know, if y'all if y'all be following my other videos, man, you gotta fake it till you make it, bro. Cause you know what I'm saying this this is a pretty expensive ass hobby. Um, but I hope you guys like this video. Um, I'll try to drop some more stuff like this. Um, I actually got another video. I'm probably gonna do 
within the next couple of days, man, it just hit me. Um, and I think it's going to be pretty cool, but I don't want to spill it yet, but y'all make sure y'all stay tuned, man. I think this is going to be, this is going to be a game changer for a lot of people, but, um, it's your boy Showdown85, man, I'm signing out. Holla. It just hit me.